All right. In this video, we'll talk uh, about Apache and uh, Apache Bench, a benchmark for the Apache web server. Uh, Apache is one of the oldest and most important web servers in existence. This was a fork of the NCSA HTTP D server, and it's been around since around 95, 96. It's been the most popular HTTP server since 1996, and it's been around for about 17 years now. And it is definitely the number one HTTP server on the internet. Um, part of its popularity is because of it has an extensible design, which allows you to add modification to Apache. And uh, in fact, some of these uh, these modifications are actually known as mods. For example, mod underscore PHP is used to uh, add PHP functionality to Apache, and it's quite popular. I think you'd find most Apache distributions would have that uh, included. Uh, speaking of which, Apache is the A in LAMP. Uh, LAMP is the uh, Linux Apache MySQL PHP stack, which is a very important web services stack that's used for most modern web development. Now, Apache comes pre-installed in most Linux distributions, but it's quite easy to install Apache if you need to. So as an example, uh, I've just provisioned an Ubuntu instance that we can log into. Let's get the DNS name of the instance. All right, now that our instance is launched, we can connect to it. Just SSH to the instance using the DNS name. Make sure you're using the key pair for the instance. Uh, since this is a freshly launched instance, first thing you might want to do is update the uh, apt get uh, repository caches. So just type in sudo apt dash get update and it'll just go through the repositories, make sure that it has the latest source list of packages for for this version of Ubuntu. Uh, it might take a few minutes. All right, once that's done, we can simply install Apache by typing in sudo apt get install apache2. All right, just confirm that you'd like to install it. It's gonna download the required packages, unpack, and install. All right, now that Apache is installed, we can do a spot check of the of the instance, make sure that it's uh, it's working. Simply bring back your browser via HTTP. Now, for this to work, you need to make sure that your security group has port 80 open. And now that Apache is installed, you see this Ubuntu default page that explains uh, that, hey, this is working, and now you can uh, replace this with whatever you need. So we've successfully installed Apache on this uh, on this uh, instance, and that instance is live, by the way. So anybody who visits that DNS page will actually see uh, it will be able to see this. Anybody who types this DNS address into their web browser will be able to see this page. Back inside the instance, if you simply visit the war www.html directory, you should be able to replace the index.html with uh, whatever you need. Um, so this is a simple web server installation on an EC2 instance. Now let me get into the details of Apache Bench. Now, when deploying or maintaining a web server, engineers are typically interested in benchmarking and understanding how many requests a particular server or server configuration can handle. A popular tool to benchmark Apache servers is Apache Bench, also known as AB. It should be pre-installed on the AMIs that you use in the project, but in this demo, we just used a fresh Ubuntu AMI. So if you want to install Apache Bench, all you need to do is uh, type in the following command, sudo apt get install apache2- utils. Now it's uh, going to fetch the required uh, utilities and you should check that now you should have access to the Apache Bench Utility or AB. And uh, it looks like it showed a help file for AB. So now you can run Apache Bench on this or any other server that's accessible to make sure that you know your web server is running correctly and you can do a performance benchmark. In order to use Apache Bench, here's a simple example. We simply call AB, uh, use the dash N switch to specify the number of requests you want to send to the server. In this case, we're going to send a thousand requests, and we'll send maybe a hundred at a time. 
followed by the address of the server that you want to test. Since we're just going to test our local machine, we're just going to give localhost. And what this does now is Apache Bench will create a thousand HTTP requests, uh, send a hundred at a time, and then provide you information on the average time per request, about 50 milliseconds, and the number of requests per second. Right now, this web server is handling about close to 2,000 requests per second. That's pretty good, especially for a T1 micro. Uh, this is a simple read request. Uh, in Apache, so what it's going to do is it's just going to send an HTTP GET request to this endpoint to the local host server. Um, in our project, we actually do a slightly more complicated version of this. What we do is we have to send a POST request, and if you look at the benchmark script file that's provided within the instance, you can see that it's a little more complicated. The details of that benchmark can be viewed from within the AMI for that project. And that's it for this video.